Welcome back to How to Cake It. This week is all about Australia. I'm making a giant jar of Vegemite. 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 <laughs> I can't do an Australian accent. I apologize. I watch a lot of Wiggles, so I thought that I could. I can't. But the good news is this cake that I'm making is for my friend Casper's birthday, and he is Australian. So he's gonna give me some help. I'm building this cake out of moist chocolate cake and vanilla buttercream dyed red, white, and blue, the colors of the Australian flag, which I will pipe inside the cake in a really interesting pattern. And then I'll be covering the cake with chocolate fondant and yellow fondant and some red fondant to recreate the Vegemite jar. You're gonna like it. It's funky. Do people use the word funky anymore? I don't think so. Why? It's a good word. I mean funky, like cool. I gotta stop aging myself. Before I get started on my Vegemite jar, I want to make some of the details first. So that, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> okay. The letters of the Vegemite logo are actually kind of layered. Like they have a black shadow behind them and some yellow highlight. You know what, I should just show you. Hold on, give me a minute. I've gotta go down on that. Where'd I put that jar? Crikey. Oh, here it is. I've made myself a template by simply blowing up the logo, printing it out, and cutting out the letters that I need to cut out to spell Vegemite. They have black shadowing behind them, and then they're mainly white, and they have some yellow highlight. First, I need to cut all of the letters out of black fondant. And then I need to cut my template a little bit smaller so that I can cut all the letters out of white fondant. And then I'm gonna layer the white letters onto the black letters and use a yellow food marker to add all the yellow highlight in and really give each letter definition. A lot of you have been leaving comments about my OCD and my attention to detail. And I just wanna say thank you. By the way, this jar of Vegemite was not cheap. In Canada, this jar was $10. $10? How do they get this here on a kangaroo? I also want to cut out the word cake out of yellow fondant, and I'm going to use that in place of yeast extract, because I really feel that my cake should be labeled appropriately. My letters are all cut out. They look nice and sharp and clean. I'm going to set these aside so that I can start on the cake. This cake is going to have red, white, and blue Italian meringue buttercream, because those are the colors of the Australian flag. I used Wilton Red No Taste Food Coloring to color my red buttercream, and I used Wilton Royal Blue to color my blue buttercream. I've baked four six inch round chocolate cakes. Once cooled, I leveled them all, and I cut three of them in half, and I left the last one whole, which will be the lid of our Vegemite jar. I'm going to use three separate piping bags with a number 805 round tip, and I fill one with white buttercream, one with blue buttercream, and one with red buttercream. Because I'm gonna build this jar by making two six inch round cakes, each with three layers of cake, I'm putting them side by side on the two Susans. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pipe my buttercream in concentric rings. Concentric, that is a good word. I'm like a DJ with turntables. Don't DJs do this? DJs don't do this anymore. They do this. They do this. And then on the next layer of cake, I'm gonna start with the opposite color, which is blue, but I'm always putting white in between the red and the blue, so that when we cut this cake into slices, you're gonna see stripes of red, white, and blue, and the white is always gonna break up the red and the blue, and it's just gonna be funky. I used it again. It's funky. 
I filled and stacked both of my cakes. I'm popping them in the fridge to chill for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then I'm gonna start to shape them. The carving of this cake isn't too difficult at all, especially because I've done it in two parts. So what I'm gonna do with my first six inch round cake, hold on. I'm down under. Crikey. So I cut a five inch board to represent this circle, and then I just use my knife to smooth out the edge and soften the edge and round out the cake, and that will become the bottom of the jar. Moving on, I'm gonna shape the second six inch cake to represent the neck of the jar. Crikey! Okay. Wow, that is potent. I decided how deep I wanted this little neck to come down on the bottle. First I made a shallow cut into my cake all around the cake. And then I cut down using my five inch board as I just like went like this. <laughs> okay. So guys, <laughs> this is what I did, okay. And then I used a five inch board again on top and cut downward around that board to meet that ring and I basically removed a half inch ring around the top of the cake. My cakes are filled and carved and now I'm gonna crumb coat them both with vanilla buttercream and pop them in the fridge. Do not underestimate the crumb coat. A crumb coat is very important. It literally glues all of the crumbs and the buttercream inside to the cake, you get it nice and chilled so that when you go back and ice your cake, you have a really nice smooth surface for your fondant. Fondant does not like bumps and lumps, neither do I. People believe that fondant will hide all their mistakes. This is false. False! And before I forget, I also need to crumb coat my final cake, which will be the lid. I'm gonna take these two cakes and make them into one jar. The first cake, which I carved to look like the bottom of the jar, I'm flipping over and placing on a cake board. Then I'm gonna dowel that cake, put a little spat of buttercream on top, put a board in between, and then top it off with the second cake that looks like the top of the jar. And once I'm happy, I'm going to ice this entire cake as one and put it in the fridge to chill. I'm also gonna take this opportunity to ice my lid once more, get it nice and clean, and put it back in the fridge to chill. Again. Oh, there's a lot of chilling. I'm always chilling. You know, we, we be chilling. I'll be chilling. It's finally time to cover this cake. This is my favorite part because I get to see it come together. Because the Vegemite jar is brown, I'm gonna use chocolate fondant. <laughs> fondant. <laughs> okay, I need a break. I need a break. You need a break. <laughs> I begin by covering the jar with chocolate fondant. I roll out my fondant, I pick it up and wrap it around the cake. I cut the seam nice and clean and I cut off the excess at both the bottom and the top. And then I'm also gonna roll out a piece of chocolate fondant to cover the circle on top because I actually want the lid on this cake to be removable. Down Under is beautiful, let me just say. I noticed that the yellow of the lid is slightly darker and more intense than the yellow of the label. I actually took the time to lighten some of my yellow fondant because I had colored it all to look like the lid. And I'm gonna roll it out really thin and I'm gonna also wrap a band around the cake. And then I'm gonna trim a nice seam and I'm gonna trim off the bottom to get a clean line and the top to get a clean line and it will look exactly like this band of yellow on the Vegemite jar. Time for the final part of the label. I need to roll out some red fondant and cut out this diamond. Now I really wanna get this logo right. 
So I use my template. And before I place my red diamond onto the cake, I'm actually gonna add the two middle letters of Vegemite, so the E and the M. I pick up the whole diamond with the two letters and place that on the cake. And now I have a nice guide so that I can place the rest of my letters on the cake, again using my stencil and some clear piping gel, and I just carefully place on the B, the E, the G, the I, the T, and the E. And last but not least, I place on the word cake. Before I put it in the fridge, I wanna add one final detail. I want to actually paint the glass jar portion of the cake, just to give it a bit of a sheen and to add some depth to the brown color of the chocolate fondant. So I'm gonna take some Wilton Ivory food coloring and mix it with a little bit of alcohol. I don't want my paint to drip down onto my beautiful label. So I'm gonna flip the cake over and I'm gonna paint all around what is the top and then I'm gonna flip it back and I'm gonna paint all around the bottom and then I'm gonna paint the top circle, which is the inside of the jar. And I painted in a, like a swirly fashion, round and round. Like a what? The cake is looking great, very jar-like, if I do say so myself. I'm placing it in the fridge and taking out the lid. See this lip edging up over? I'm gonna tell you how I'm gonna achieve that. First, I cover the top of my cake with a circle of fondant, and then I actually mark a little mark right in the center, because there's this little poke in the lid. Then, I roll a band of yellow fondant and cover all the way around my lid, cut a nice seam, and then I used a bowl, which was just slightly smaller than six inches, to cut a circle out of the top so that my fondant is coming over like a lip. And I smooth that out really nicely. You see this little freshness seal? I think it's a freshness seal, or a safety seal, or both. What I need to do is make a mark all the way around the cake, marking off this seal. And then I used a coffee stir stick, very important cake decorating tool and it's very expensive. It's not like you could just pick them up free at the coffee shop. I use the coffee stir stick to indent and make these little perforations. perforations. <laughs> Thank you, Chet. I'm rolling out some more yellow fondant so that I can make a band that goes all the way around. I'm gonna use a ruler or a yardstick, lay it down so that I can protect part of the band. And then I'm using a strip cutter to just mark into my fondant and get this ribbed effect all along the whole length. I cut that strip nice and clean and then wrap it around my lid above the perforation line to complete the Vegemite lid. I've got to pop the lid on my Vegemite jar. So let me get the jar out of the fridge. I'm gonna remove the lid from the board it's on and I'm gonna carefully place it right in the center on top, finishing off this cake. And I can't wait to give it to Casper so he can pop off the lid. I probably won't let him, I'll probably do it myself. But he'll still be impressed. when I brought out the Vegemite cake. So we have to open this jar, don't we? Jar, no. You're kidding me. You're freaking kidding me. Holy smokes. There's Vegemite in the cake too. You put Vegemite in the cake? No. Yeah. I've never had Vegemite. It's pretty good, especially in time of war. <laughs> <laughs> Am I saying it right? Veg Trump. Vegemite. 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 Vegemite, not Vegemite. Oh. Mate is a friend. Okay. Mind, yeah, yeah, like you're my cake mate. Yeah. Vegemite. Vegemite. Mite. 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 Yeah, it's better. Vegemite. Yeah, just let it go. Okay, Vegemite. <laughs> I'm sorry, Australia. I'm sorry. You sound much better than this. You know what the best part of this day is? Me. 
Of course, because <laughs> normally I stand here and eat cake all by myself, right guys? And now I have, I have a cake, mate! <gasps> oh. Bing! Oh. One, two, three, go. I feel bad. Sorry, Australia. <laughs> we conquered Australia. Mm -hmm. Speaking of trying Vegemite. How do you say cheers in Australian? Cheers? Cheers. Okay. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> cheers. Is there another word? Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. There's a bit of a rude one, but I won't to, say it. To Vegemite. To Vegemite. Ve Vegemite. Okay, it's time for Vegemite. Mm. Honestly, Vegemite. It really wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It's, it's interesting. Not that bad. It's like, I, th I was expecting this to taste like... Mmm. Casper and I have to get out of here. We need to have some Australian beverages. We're parched after all that Vegemite. Bye, mate. Later. Later. <laughs> Vegemite. 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 Yeah, stop saying so like cockney. Later, mate. Let's get some Vegemite. I feel like they would be more like jovial than that. Crikey.